So what comes to mind when I say Spider-Man, X-Man, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Doctor Stranger, Doctor Strange, Vengi Baran, before all of you kill me, Thor, Avengers, superheroes, all of that, right? Well, you know, all of these are really popular superheroes and the man behind it as well, Stan Lee. No less, widely regarded as the one of the greatest creators of the 20th century. He was the founder of the Marvel Universe and co-created characters that have become household names now by billions across the world and in India as well. In fact, the man behind Chakra, the Invincible, one of the first original Indian superheroes that we have, which Stan created along with Sharad Ivarajan in 2012, prior to his death, remember, in 2018. Now, on his 99th birthday, a limited edition NFT collection is being launched later this month. In fact, Stanley had famously once said that he wants to make Chakra as famous as Spider-Man. Is that going to happen? How exactly is this drop being looked at in the NFT market space? Joining us now is Sandrina Paula, VP for International Partnership Garden Link. And also with us back on CC is Ram Kumar, CEO and co-founder for Guardian Link. Hey guys, uh, welcome Hi. to CC. Let me go to Sandrina first since uh, she's here for the first time. Take us through, you know, what exactly is it that the fans are really looking for? forward to when it comes to Chakra. Here it's called Chakra Verse. So what exactly is in this dump for the fans? Hi, Sona. Thank you for having us here. Now, as uh, you know, you have explained it better. I would like to tell you about the character just in short. So uh, what we have is, you know, a mother of all drops, Stanley himself, the creator of Iron Man and, and Spider-Man and, and all the Marvel characters. Now, Chakra the Invincible, it was the first original Indian superhero. Hmm. And this is why there's a buzz in it, because he created it with Sharat. And hmm. now, uh, previously, if uh, just to remind the new generation, it was launched as one of the most successful um, Indian graphic novels. And right. then there was also a series of animated films and, hmm. and shots, you know, that have been aired on, on Cartoon Network India hmm. and Amazon Prime hmm. Video. Now, as much as uh, Stan was fascinated by um, the Indian culture because of its rich, uh, diverse tradition, hmm. he wanted to uh, bring a lot of um, culture into this character. Yeah. Now, why? <laughs> and now, it's not an uh, easy challenge because India is the land where right. Hanuman is the original superhero <laughs> and he's the favorite among kids. So exactly. it's going to be quite a challenge getting that up. But let me bring uh, Ram in this conversation as well. Ram, from Bollywood superstars to comic heroes, share with us some of the big learnings you've had in these NFT drop collections. Um, I believe this space is also ever evolving. Are you changing any things this time around? Absolutely. So uh, last time with uh, Amita Bachchan's NFT, uh, it was a very good experience, as I've explained before. So uh, it was. It turned out to be one of the biggest NFTs that we have ever released. And uh, with this, uh, we have retained few of the strategies that we've used before with the loot. Uh, the ever loving uh, uh, people who just always ask for us to bring up more loots. So we have retained that. And we've also introduced uh, more video-based uh, content this time mm. because uh, that was a demand. Uh, people wanted video-based NFTs. And we've also increased the number of uh, the character sketches that we've done. Mm -hmm. um, last time we had very limited series and this now, now we've mm. gone up to 6,000 uh, series of NFTs that we created. These are character sketches and each are unique mm. ERC 721s. So that's a bit different what you've done from before. Right, so this is a different also, genre we have altogether, another... right? That we are also yeah, getting yeah. to learn when it comes to NFT. So let's see. Good luck, guys, with this one. Let's see how it goes. We'll connect again. Post that. That's all we could pack in today's edition of Coffee and Crypto.